I can't wait to get to the Big Top Circus! Hot ziggity! This is going to be great! Hold on to that ticket, Pep! We don't want to lose it! Apple Valley's a long drive from here. Make sure you hold on to the ticket, Pep. That's my gas gauge. Noticed a few dents in your fenders? The polish worn thin on your bumpers? Do your headlights seem dim? Maybe it's time to take a trip to the luxury sedan spa for a total tune-up makeover. It'll put a spark back in your plugs and a sparkle back in your chrome. It says BJ Sweeney's Big Top Circus, coming to Apple Valley. That's where we're going, Pep. Pep? <laughs> okay, we've got a long drive to the circus. We better get going. Apple Valley, here we come! Hey, it's a goat! He sure is cute! It says, Apple Valley, 157 miles. Wow, that's pretty far. I read about the Big Top Circus once. Sometimes they travel all around the world to put on shows. That would be really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Noticed a few dents in your fenders? The polish worn thin on your bumpers? Do your headlights seem dim? Maybe it's time to take a trip to the luxury sedan spa for a total tune-up makeover. It'll put a... I'm strong. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that goat is blocking the road to Apple Valley. I need to find something to get him to move out of the way. Shay, I don't believe we've met. The name's Cassidy. Roll along, Cassidy. Glad to meet you. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, howdy, Putt-Putt. Shay, would you be able to find something to move this goat off the track? He looks hungry to me. Okay, I'll see what I can do. That goat is still blocking my way. I wonder how I can get him to move. Yeah, I'm talking to you, goat. How's about you moseying off my tracks? Hmm. I'm gonna be late if that old goat doesn't ski daddle pretty quick. That goat still hasn't moved an inch. There's got to be a way to get him to move. I just have to think of it. Honking my horn doesn't work. Nope, honking my horn didn't work that time either. That 
blocked my gas gauge. <laughs> nope, honking my horn didn't work that time either. Hey there, little goat. I don't have all day. <laughs> that goat is still blocking my way. I wonder how I can get him to move. There's got to be something we can find that will make that goat move out of the road. Those beautiful flowers might come in handy. I think I'll hold on to them. I can't wait to get going to the circus. We should... Here, Goaty Goaty! Here, Goat! That did the trick. Well, yeah, thanks, partner. I've been trying to get that gall darn goat to move all morning. I'm going to be late for the circus if I don't get my old caboose moving. You're going to the circus too? Wow, so are we. Well, uh, technically speaking, I'm uh, delivering stuff to the circus. Sawdust. Tons and tons of sawdust. Oh no. There goes my ticket to the circus. I don't have any money for a new one. Now what am I going to do? You're going to hop right on my freight car. I'm taking you straight to the Big Top Circus in Apple Valley, Putt Putt. I'm sure we can figure out a way to get you into that circus, ticket or no ticket. Gee, thanks, Cassidy. Did you hear that, Pep? We're getting a train ride to the circus. Hot ziggity! This is great! Here we are! Wow! I can't believe I'm at the circus! Yep, BJ Sweeney's genuine big top circus. And BJ's just the one you need to talk to about your little ticket problem. BJ Sweeney, the ringmaster? Wow! Where do I find him? Right next to the gate, my friend. I'm sure he'd be happier than a hand to help you out. I sure hope so. Well, thanks again for the ride, Cassidy. Well, we must go through about 15 tons of this here sawdust every year. Well, the animals use it for everything from their beds to their bathroom. Oh my goodness! Not that I don't love being a circus train, but sometimes I think I'd like to walk up on those itty bitty tight ropes like the tightrope walkers. See the world from up high. That would be fun. You know, I've been hauling stuff for this here circus for nearly 30 years. Once now, I was pulling 15 lines in the middle of the biggest cat fight you ever did hear. I could hardly hear myself think with all the ruckus. I can't believe I'm going to get to talk to BJ Sweeney. He's the most famous ringmaster in the world. I sure got a heap of sawdust to unload. We use a lot of it at the circus. Do you need some help unloading it? Thanks, but no thanks. See you later, Cassidy. Best of luck to you, my friend. 
<laughs> oh my goodness! You must be BJ Sweeney, the most famous ringmaster in the world! You don't look too happy! Of course I'm not happy! I have a really big show to put on tonight! A spectacular spectacle meant to curl your tailpipe and put a spin in your tires! But I'm afraid the show can't go on! <laughs> Why not? Because everything's a jumbled mess! When we pulled in here, nothing got put in the right place! All my five main acts are crying mutiny, and the other acts are having problems too! Here are the five main acts! Honkle the Clown, the Flying Porkowskis, Philippe the Flea, Reginald the Lion, and Katie Cannonball! This circus is doomed! Maybe I can help you! By the way, my name's Putt-Putt! Thanks, Putt-Putt! Here, take this. Maybe it will help. Don't worry about a thing, Mr. BJ Sweeney. I'll do my best to make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. If you help me get this circus up and running, you'll have free circus tickets for life. That's great, since, uh, a goat kind of ate my ticket. I have a book about the circus at home, but I've never ever been to a real one before. I've wanted to go to the circus ever since I can remember. It'll be so much fun to watch the circus. Thank goodness Mr. Sweeney told me I didn't need my ticket. Tyros! A complete breakfast now with added vitamin G for that great gasoline get up and go. I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Honko the Clown, Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus, the Flying Porkowski's Trapeze Act, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. There he is, the amazing whiz on four wheels, the stupendous putt-putt. How goes the quest to help save the Big Top Circus? I haven't fixed any of the problems yet, Mr. Sweeney, but I know I will. Of course you will, for you are a car who is going places. I can tell. You'd think that running a circus was all about wild animals and the thrill of life on the road. Well, I'm here to tell you, boy, that unless I'm out on stage, it's all about paperwork. Piles of paperwork. It's times like this that I miss the days of performing on the high wire. Wow! You used to balance way up on the high wire? Yes, it was the high point of my life. The circus is in my blood. My daddy was in it, and my granddaddy before him. When I was little, my first job was sweeping up the flea tent. I was the only one small enough to handle the job. Wow! I've wanted to go to the circus ever since I can remember. It says BJ Sweeney's Big Top Circus. That's where the circus is going to be. You ever think about joining the circus, Putt-Putt? Yeah, I think it would be fun. Well, maybe someday you'll get the chance. It says BJ Sweeney's Big Top Circus. <laughs> That must be the lion and tiger ring. It's going to be pretty exciting to see them perform. I can't wait. When the circus comes to your town, we start setting up the tent, cleaning up and getting ready for the show. The big show. As the audience rolls in, we see all the children grin. Looking forward to pink lemonade and popcorn, don't you know? Under, Under the, the big, big, big top, we have big, big fun. Under, Under the, the big spotlight, spot there are smiles for everyone. everyone. You'll see stunt cars doing wheelies if you get to join the show. And giraffes that jump through giant hoops. There are pets of alligators Ooh, or fancy roller skaters and a monkey on a motorbike the triple loop and loop under, under the, the big big top we have big big, big fun under, under the, the big spotlights there are smiles for everyone when the show is finally over and the tents are taken down the trucks and trays will take us places far and dear 
other towns where cars are waiting. For the fun we'll be creating. But we're coming back to do it all again next year. Under the big, big pop, we a big, big fun. Under the big spotlight, there's small for everyone. If you get to join the circus, you'll never want the show to stop. Underneath the big, 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 big top. Underneath the big, 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 big top. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the lions and tigers! I think they'll be one of my favorite acts! I wonder what happens up there. Maybe the trapeze artists perform there. Trapeze artists are pretty daring. They swing way up high through the air. That could be scary. Trapeze artists are pretty daring. They swing way up high through the air. That could be scary. That's a big target! I wonder what that big target's used for. <laughs> that must be the ring where the clown performs. It would be fun to be a circus clown because you could make everybody laugh. It would be fun to be a circus clown because you could make everybody laugh. That's a big target! I wonder what that big target's used for. Whoa! Has the circus started already? No, I'm early. I'm helping Mr. Sweeney to get his axe ready for the show. Hey, I could use some help. Big time. I'm Lester. Pleased to meet you. I'm Putt-Putt. What's the problem? My boss, Philippe. Philippe the Flea. He has fled with his fellow flea followers to where I do not know. He's a tad upset about the condition of his small umbrella tent here. As you can see, it's a mess. Maybe I can find him for you. Well, then you're going to need this. And see if you can find him a new tent while you're at it. Thanks, Lester. Get your peanuts. Get your fresh, hot, roasted peanuts. Mmm, that sounds good. How much are you selling your peanuts for? Usually these peanuts sell for, uh, peanuts. Less than a nickel. But today, because it's open at night, I'm giving them away. If you take on the peanut challenge and win. The peanut challenge? What's that? Yeah, take a closer look at my peanut gallery and I'll explain. Okay, here's how the game works. You got ten peanuts in your pile to toss to those hungry tin cars. If you can feed three cars, you will win your own jumbo bag of fresh hot roasted peanuts. On your mark, get set, throw! <laughs> You did it! You won the peanut challenge! And for that astounding win, you get one jumbo bag of fresh hot roasted peanuts absolutely free from me, bought the peanut cart, home of the peanut challenge. One bag per customer. <laughs> Wow, thanks a lot! Hey, what are you gonna do now that you won them? Gobble them up in seconds flat? No, I'm not hungry right now. I think I'll save them for later. That's a very wise decision. You might find someone you want to share them with. <laughs> well, step up for another round of the peanut challenge. Uh, unfortunately, there's only one complimentary bag of peanuts per customer. But well, you knew that, right? Yeah, that's okay, Bart. I like to play for fun. Alrighty, you still have ten peanuts in your pile to toss to those ten cars. But now you gotta knock down four in a row. Get ready, pick up your peanut, and throw! <laughs> That's it! You won! Now it's gonna get a little tough. You still got 10 peanuts to toss, but try to knock down 5 cars. Ready? Go! 
You really want to quit? Eh, better luck next time, kid. Thanks, Bart! That must be where the car gets shot out of the cannon. One of the main acts must perform in that ring. I bet it's the cannon act. I wonder if flying through the air on a trapeze feels like real flying. The tent is closed. I wonder what's inside. The doorway is blocked. Open sesame! Roll your top down, crank into overdrive, and tune your radio to wacky, kooky, goofy KTR Cartoons Radio. <laughs> I better leave the tent open so the animals can come in and out. Here we go, Pep! Why the long face? Yeah, it looks fine. This new costume looks ridiculous. It's... it's undignified. You, Reggie, could never in a million years look undignified. No way, no how, Reggie. Honest. What do you think about this travesty of a costume? It, uh, looks like you're ready to go swimming. Swimming? No, oh, of course. It's a bathing suit. Why, it's a mistake. This is coming off immediately. Good riddance. Here, do you have any need for this? Sure, it might come in handy. And maybe I can find your costume for you. Oh, thank goodness. Mine is a regal costume, fit for a king. Pardon me, but I don't believe you've had the pleasure. I'm Reginald Cornelius Andronicles the Third, and these are my assistants, Terry and Marie. Charmed. A pleasure. I'm Putt Putt. Thank you for doing this, Putt Putt. I need that costume for tonight. Yeah, without it, the show won't go on. I can't use that there. The king of the beasts here, he likes everything to be perfect. Yeah, you think that's why he hired us, Terry? You better believe it, Marie. Pot pot? I'm counting on you to bring me my costume. You know that, don't you? Of course, Reginald. Besides, I can't wait to see you perform. Lions are some of my favorite circus performers. Oh, that does show good judgment. Have you ever seen a lion look so blue? Yeah, smile. After all, Reggie, you're king of the beasts. A king of the beasts without a costume is hardly kingly, if you ask me. I have to remember to get a small tent for Lester, the janitor flea, so Philippe will move back in. <laughs> Roll your top down, crank into overdrive, and tune your radio to wacky, kooky, goofy KTR Cartoons Radio. Now, which way should I go? That's a camel. They can go a long time without water. That's a camel. They can go a long time without water. That's a show horse. Horses like carrots. That's a show horse. Horses like carrots. At the drum, the tropics, 
worked at the big cafe. I worked with the fruit cart. Now I've learned acrobatic art. Across the desert, dry and sunny. Could I please have some cotton candy? We used to roam the Serengeti. I really feel like some spaghetti. Come on, you two, let's sing now and eat later. Okay, everybody. The circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. We see country towns and city lights. A different audience every night. We might be tall or slightly tiny. We keep our costumes bright and shiny. The circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. We get to jump in front. And have a nice place to sleep. And plenty to eat. But when the show is done. In the circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. The circus, the circus, where the animals in the circus. Those are giraffes. They have long necks so they can eat leaves out of trees. <laughs> Those are monkeys. Monkeys are silly. Those are monkeys. Monkeys are silly. That's a cockatoo. It's a beautiful bird. That's a rhinoceros. They're found in Africa. Hey! This must be where they do all the construction for the circus. I read about the Big Top Circus once. Sometimes they travel all around the world to put on shows. That would be really exciting. I am Buzzsaw. I can cut anything with my sharp blade. Pick a shape to cut. Hmm, that machine doesn't seem to have a saw in it. I'll bet it's missing. I guess I could try to find it somewhere. I am Buzzsaw. I can cut anything with my sharp blade. Pick a shape to cut. I need to find a saw to give the buzz. Square. I need to find a saw to give the buzz. Hi, my name is Putt-Putt. I'm Sebastian, the juggling seal. Wait, I think I've got it this time. Not again. Wow, that looks difficult. Believe it or not, right now it's harder than it looks keeping this ball in the air. Usually, I have four juggling clubs. But I do what I can, it's all I can do. Hey, if I make a fool out of myself tonight, they'll just have me perform with the clowns. Could be worse. If you want me to, I could keep on the lookout for your other juggling club. Oh, I like the way you think. That would be splendiferous. You'd be doing old Sebastian the Juggling Seal a whale of a favor. I need to find a juggling club for Sebastian. I wonder where one could be. Wait, I think I've got it this time. I hope you can dig up that juggling club somewhere. I'm telling you, having four of them works like magic. Don't you worry, Sebastian. I'll do my best to find it for you. I am humongous.
Oh, hello. You come to watch Bill O'Brodnik dance? He's wild and crazy. It sure is. Oh, you take break, guys, okay? Who are you talking to? Oh, bunch of fleas. Into my fur they moved and now they are disco dancing just like Bill O'Brodnik. Wow! Mr. Sweeney said that Philippe the Flea from his flea act needed some help. Hey, I have an idea! Maybe Philippe is in your fur! I could find him and talk to him! Good! And help I could use too! But these fleas are very nice and polite bunch, but between you and me they are a little itchy! And they make me dance this crazy disco! I need to practice my act for a big top tonight! Well, you know what? I have the perfect thing I can use to see them and find Philippe if he's in there! Oh, very good! Soon Pilo Brodnik must practice real dance for circus show. But first, disco dancing please need to go. I'll do the best I can, Bella Brodnik. First, I have to find them with my magnifying glass. That magnifying glass I have will be the perfect thing to use to find Philippe the Flea and Bella Brodnik's fur. Okay, Bella Brodnik, let me see if I can find Philippe. Best of luck to you. Whoa! Look at all those fleas! I wonder where Philippe is. I need to find him. Philippe? No, sorry. Hi, are you Philippe? No, B. Excuse me, are you Philippe the Flea? Sorry. Philippe, are you in there? No. That's a picture of Philippe the Flea. He must be in here somewhere. Uh, uh. Philippe? Sorry. Uh, uh. Philippe the Flea, is that really you? You are looking at him! I am the one and only. I suppose you have come to ask me to return to my ring in the big top? But sadly, I cannot. You see my tent? It is falling apart. A circus star like myself simply cannot work in such an inferior place. Oh, I promised Lester I would find a new tent for you, so everything's gonna be okay. So you and your fleet troop can come with me, and after I find your new tent, I'll take you back to the big top. This is such a kind offer, Putt Putt. I would gladly accept, but we can only travel in style. We would need something warm. Something furry. Something... Oh, magnifique! I have spotted the perfect creature! Come on, everybody! It's okay, Pep. It's just for a little while. And they're very nice fleas. Oh, goodness me. Milo Brodnik says thank you very much. Now I can dance to my own beat and practice my dancing for Big Top Show tonight! Where did you learn to dance like that? An old bear named Petrovsky, he taught me before he left Moscow with circus to dance with Bear Shoy Ballet. Thank you so very much for getting those fleas to go. Oh, I feel so much better. Oh, you're very welcome. I have to remember to find Reginald's tunic. It has to be somewhere around the circus. I just know it. 
Hey, that looks like Baby Jumbo from the Cartown Zoo! Putt Putt? Baby Jumbo? How come you're not in the Cartown Zoo? I'm traveling with the circus this summer, and guess what? I'm not a scaredy elephant anymore. That's great! I learned how to paint pictures all by myself. What do you think, Putt Putt? They're really good pictures, Baby Jumbo. My mama says I have talent. I can even paint you if you want. Oh, that would be fun. All you gotta do is pick your color. It's so fun traveling with the circus. I get to paint all day. And you're really good at it. Lemon yellow. Here it comes. I think I'm gonna like this. I know you will. That's it, Putt-Putt. Thanks! Hmm. What's this? Hey, it looks like half of a recipe. I think I'll hang on to it. When I go back home to the car town zoo, I still get to paint. Mama says so. Maybe I could paint you there too, Putt Putt. Oh, that would be fun! Get ready for Blueberry Blue! I hope this looks good! It'll look great! I'm an artist, you know! You're all done! Great! Thanks, Baby Jumbo! Here comes Putt-Putt Purple! Hope I like this! Oh, you will! All done! Gee, thanks! Roll your top down, crank into overdrive, and tune your radio to Wacky Kooky Goofy KTR Cartoons Radio! Those are monkeys. Monkeys are silly. Have you found Philippe? I have, Lester. He and his flea friends are keeping my dog Pep company. Oh, what a relief. Now, as soon as you track down a new tent, I'll bet my broom he'll want to move right in. That won't do me any good there. I'm so excited to see a real circus. It will be my first time ever. That's my gas gauge. <laughs> I can't wait to see the clown act. It always cracks me up. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. Are you a real police car? Uh, hello, Putt-Putt. The name's Hank. I was a police car. Now I'm working as a security guard, guarding the circus. Wow! That must be exciting. It has its good days.
That's a picture of the high wire. That's a picture of a trailer. Putt-Putt, ever think about what it would be like to be a security car? Not really. It's an okay life. You get to live by the rules. That's what I like. Yes? Have you worked for the circus for a long time? Ever since I left the police force to guard Honko the Clown on his world tour. Wow! What was that like? B -b best time of my life. Honko is a great clown. It's Color Week at Car Town Color! Wendy Whitewall will be on hand to help you pick the color that suits you best. Car Town Color, now a subsidiary of Earl Shine Paints. Sorry, you can't go back there. Or over there for that matter. Why not? You need security clearance. Can't let just anybody backstage, you know. How do I get security clearance? Take this backstage security pass and get it authorized and signed off in triplicate by the proper authorities. Who are the proper authorities? I'm not sure, but I'll know it when I see it. All I do know is that it has to be proper. Okay, I'll see what I can do. It's been pretty slow here today. My job really picks up when all the customers arrive. Always got a few folks who want to sneak backstage. I can't go back there until I get the proper signature on the backstage security form. I'm sorry, but I'm not authorized to sign that. You should try someone in charge. There he is, the amazing whiz on four wheels, the stupendous putt-putt. How goes the quest to help save the Big Top Circus? I haven't fixed any of the problems yet, Mr. Sweeney, but I know I will. Of course you will, for you are a car who is going places. I can tell. Excuse me, Mr. Sweeney. Hank the security car said I needed an authorized signature in triplicate before he'd let me go backstage. Can you do that? Of course I can. Good to see he's doing his job. Ah, that's my life. Paperwork. Here you go. Your backstage security clearance. Thanks! It's a... Here you go, in triplicate. Look at that, BJ Sweeney's signature. Can't get any more proper than that. Go right in anytime you want to. Gee, thanks. Uh, yes? Have you worked for the circus for a long time? Ever since I left the police force to guard Honko the Clown on his world tour. Wow, what was that like? B -b best time of my life. Honko is a great clown. Today at 5 on Channel 5, tune in to Fortunate Wheels. You'll see Cartown's Mrs. Airbag spin the wheel for a chance at winning a set of custom gold-plated hubcaps. An umbrella! This doesn't belong here! I should find who it belongs to and return it to them. Mr. Sweeney really needed my help, and I'm sure happy to do it. <laughs> Say there, catnip. Here's a joke coming at you. Okay, hit me, Ratso. <laughs> no, I meant with a joke. Sheesh, you're always clowning around. Hey, it's my job. So, catnip, what smells most in the circus tent? Uh, I don't know. Your nose. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one! <laughs> I eat no one for him! So, 
Oh, did you hear the story about the skunk? No, tell me. Never mind, it stinks. But I want to hear the story, Ratso. <laughs> it was a joke, Catnip. Oh, well, uh, duh. So's this. The honorable them in the back here when you were do you know? Walnut! There I always. There I always. Was that Here's a good one. <laughs> what did the big toe say to the little toe? Uh, I give up. He said, there's a big heel following us. Uh, I get it. And so do you. <laughs> so tell me something, Catnip. When the circus closes up for the night, why do you go to bed? Because I'm tired? No, because the bed will not come to you. Oh, so that's why. Uh, uh, Ratso, wanna hear a joke? It's as good as a pie in the face! Prove it, Catnip! No, I mean prove it by telling a joke. Quit clowning around! But, uh, I am a clown! So, um, uh, where was I? So, how is a pig like a horse, Ratso? They both have four legs! Hey, they do! But that's not the answer! A pig is like a horse because when a pig is hungry, he eats like a horse! And when a horse is hungry, he eats like a pig! Oink, 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 oink! Try this one on for size! Knock, knock! Who's there? Luke! Luke who? Luke in the big top and see the most famous clowns around! Ratso and Catnip! <laughs> so you got this baby ghost! A ghost? Lighten up, Catnip! It's a joke! So this baby ghost, tell me, how does it cry? Uh, I don't know! It says, boo-hoo! <laughs> boo-hoo! <laughs> uh, here's one! Okay, if an egg came rolling into the big top, where did it come from? I don't know, Catnip. Where? From a chicken! Now that is not your best. No? Sheesh, I kinda liked it. Wow! That must be Honko the Clown! Hi, Honko! I wonder what he's trying to say! It says Honko the Clown! I should try to find something I can use to help me figure out what Honko is saying. Wow! The clowns must use this for putting their costumes together! That's funny. That's funny. Mouths! What a good clown costume! Eyes! Noses! Hats! Ears! Ties! Wow! The clowns must use this for putting their costumes together! Hey, a trampoline! I think I'll hold on to this. It might be useful. It says Pictorial the Strong Van. It says Pictorial the Strong Van. Oh 
Wow, that trailer must belong to Pectoro the Strong Van. Maybe he got so strong because he eats all those fruits and vegetables. Look, a juicer. If I put some vegetables in it, I can make a vegetable shake. Celery. Spinach. Asparagus. Apples. Pears. Beets. Beets. Carrots. Pears. All full. Yeah. That's a cup. That's a juicer. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. Good evening, I am Marvin the Marvelous. Prepare to be amazed, astounded, and spellbound by magical feats unlike any you've ever seen. Why bother? Everything is a mess. What's the problem? It's my magic cards. They're supposed to be in pairs, and I don't know which one goes with which. Until they're just right, I won't be able to do my famous card trick. Oh, I bet I can help you with that. That, my friend, would be simply marvelous. Oh, I hope you can match up my cards. Otherwise, the show will never go on. Of course I'll match them up, Marvin. Oh, thank goodness. Thank you for this. You, I have a feeling, are about to save me. My, my magic show. My entire career. I'll do my best. <laughs> I wonder which cards match up. A rabbit. A star. Nope, those don't match. Juggling ball. Juggling ball. Great, they match. A juggling club. A magician's hat. A magician's hat. A magician's hat. A star. A star. A rabbit. A juggling club. A rabbit. A rabbit. That's funny. There's no match for this one. I'd better tell Marvin about that. I'm all done. But this card was left over, Marvin. It didn't have a match. Ah, the juggling club. The match for that card got lost when we were playing Peoria. That, my friend, is all yours if you'd like it. Gee, thanks. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Not so fast. You deserve much more than a mere card. After all, you saved my show. Mambo, Jumbo, Hocus Pocus, Dominocus. A chicken? No, that's not right. Let's see. Abracadabra, Hocus Pocus, Dillyocus. <laughs> There we go. I thought I'd lost my touch. A genuine juggling club. All for you. Wowie zowie! Thanks! Mm. 
and now for one of Marv and the Marvelous' most famous tricks. Wow, I can't wait to see that! Abracadabra! <coughs> hmm, not quite. Now for a little slide of antenna. Eeny, peeny, boobalini. Presto! Oops, I'll have to work on that one. Can I organize your magic cards again, Marvin? It's a lot of fun. Anytime, my friend. You worked magic on them before, and I have faith you can do it again. A circus tent. A magic wand. Nope, those don't match. A magic wand. A magic wand. It's a match. A rabbit. A star. A circus tent. A circus tent. A magician's hat. Juggling ball. Juggling ball. Juggling ball. A magician's hat. A magician's hat. A star. A star. A rabbit. A rabbit. All matched. Do you really want to quit? Pep seems to be doing okay. He doesn't look too itchy with all those fleas on him. I have to remember to find Reginald's tunic. It has to be somewhere around the circus. I just know it. Today at five. I don't think that will work. You'll see Cartown's Mrs. Airbag spin the wheel for a chance at winning a set of custom gold-plated hubcaps. What could I use to wake up an elephant? There's got to be something. Hey, that looks just like Mama Mobasa from the Cartown Zoo. I wonder if it is. Mama Mobasa, is that you? She sure is sleeping soundly. I wonder why she is at the circus. If I could wake her up, I could ask. I think I have something I can use to wake up Mama Mobasa. Mama Mobasa! Oh, Mama Mobasa? It's me, Putt Putt. She must be tired. There must be a way to wake her up. I think I have something I can use to wake up Mama Mobasa. Excuse me, it's time to get up. She must be tired. I wonder how I can get her to wake up. I think I have something I can use to wake up Mama Mobasa. Whoa! This must be where Mr. Sweeney keeps all the tools to fix things for his Big Top Circus. I bet Mr. Sweeney wouldn't mind if I borrowed this saw. It might be good for fixing things around the circus. As long as I'm very careful with it. Hmm, I wonder what this is. This must be the other half of the recipe I found. Wow! I'd better hang on to it. Hmm. I wonder what this recipe makes. Pectoral the Strong Band Secret Recipe. I wonder what it could be. seems to be doing okay. He doesn't look too itchy with all those fleas on him.
Look what I have! Fresh hot roasted peanut! Peanuts? Am I still dreaming? This is wonderful! Why, I can't believe my old elephant eyes. Is that really you, Putt-Putt? It sure is, Mama Mubasa. Honey, it is so good to see you. Baby Jumbo and I are working with the circus this summer, and my sweet boy is having the time of his life. I already saw him, Mama Mubasa. Oh, you did? Did you see his wonderful paintings? I sure did. They were great. That's my boy. Such an imagination. So, Putt-Putt, tell Mama Mabasa how you managed to get backstage here before the show and everything. I'm helping Mr. Sweeney with a few things before the show opens. You always were and always will be a helpful little car. I borrowed that net from someone, but I don't remember who. I can return that for you, Mama Mubasa. BJ Sweeney asked me to help out with the circus. I am so proud of Baby Jumbo. He used to be such a scaredy elephant, but not anymore. Last night, a little bitty mouse ran up his trunk. And do you know what he did? He made friends with it. Wow, that's great. Mama Mubasa sure does like those peanuts. I sure wish I knew what Honka was trying to say. It says Honko the Clown. It says Honko the Clown. I need to find a way to understand Honko. I can't use that. I don't think that will work. I can't use that there. Okay, now why did the flying Porkowskis throw a glass of water off the flying trapeze? It slipped out of their hands? No, they threw it because they wanted to see a waterfall. So funny, huh? Duh, you got a pie in the face. Mmm, vanilla. Hey, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. So what Hello? is blue, green, yellow, purple, brown, black, and gray? A uh, rainbow with a few extra colors? No, a box of crayons. Rats, I thought I knew that. <laughs> Don't tell me Mr. B.J. Sweeney sent you to talk us into performing without a safety net. Tell him the flying Porkowskis won't do it. We refuse to fly through the air on the trapeze with the greatest of ease if we don't have a safety net. Won't do it. No way. And that's final. I wouldn't either. That would be dangerous. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. And actually, Mr. Sweeney wanted me to help you. So where is your safety net anyway? That's the problem. Can't find it anywhere. It's been missing since we got here. Wait a minute. I might just have what you're looking for. I'll believe it when pigs can fly. We can fly, Paul. Well, sorta of hammy. I bet the Flying Porkowskis will be happy to get their net back. I should give it to them. The 
the bunch in a heap, Put Put. You're welcome. Now you can be safe. The flying pork owlskies can fly again. Come on, Paul. I want to practice my flying upside down trick. Okay, Hammy, we're coming. I do hope you'll come see us in the show, Put Put. Oh, I will. I want to see Hammy do that upside down trick. It is a sight. Well, better start practicing. Oh boy, I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Honko the Clown, Philippe the Flea and his Flea Circus, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. Swinging on the trapeze might be fun, but it also could be kind of scary. I think this platform goes all the way up to the high wire. I wonder what's up there. Here I go! Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. Do you need some help? The name's Eunice, and do I ever! I am having the toughest time trying to balance on this practice wire. Never happened before! I am baffled! I can tell you that! I might have something you can use to help you balance, Eunice. Well, this is my lucky day, isn't it? Can't wait to see what it is! <laughs> the outlook for the weather today in Apple Valley is warm and crystal clear. That's good news for opening night of the Big Top Circus. I think I have something Eunice can use to balance. I should give it to her and see if it works. Hey Eunice, what's that wrench for? It tightens that loose wire. I've been trying to fix it all morning. But as they say, it takes two to tighten. I think the bolt's a little rusty. Maybe I can figure out how to get over there and then I can help you tighten it. You're on! I know patience is a virtue, but I can't wait to see what you brought to help me balance. Don't worry, I'll show you, Eunice. And I bet it'll do the trick. <laughs> Here, do you think this big umbrella will help? You never know. Can you hand it over? Sorry, I can't reach that far. Guess you're gonna have to come around the other way. Okay, I can do that. I think... I need to get over there to help pull that wrench. I hope you don't think it's too bold of me to ask, but do you know a little something about music? Maybe a little bit. Why? See, I'm the circus orchestra, the circus conductor, and the circus accompaniment all rolled into one. And I've got a couple of teensy little problems. My pipes are all mixed up, and it seems like I have some old translation book stuck in them. I figure if someone can set my pipes right, I can get up enough steam to get that book out. I can help you with that. Oh, that is music to my ears. Now the key here is to arrange my pipes from the lowest note to the highest note. Okay, I'll try it. By the way, since you're being so helpful and all, I should introduce myself. I'm Bet Bandwagon. I'm Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, glad to meet you. Okay, remember, arrange my pipes so they go from the lowest sounding note to the highest sounding note. The green light means that the pipe is in the correct spot. The red light means that the pipe is in the wrong spot. I think that most of the pipes are already in the right spot.
this bet. Okay, here goes. That was music to my ears. My goodness, it's the Honkish translation book. Well, however did that get caught in my pipes? A Honkish translation book? I could use that to talk to Honko the Clown. Oh, you most certainly could. Here, you take it, Putt-Putt, and thanks. You are my musical maestro. Thanks, Bet. This is great. So are you, Putt-Putt. So are you. Thank you again, Maestro, for fixing my pipes. You're welcome, Bet. How about a little song? Sure. Fleas on Parade. Last but not least come the fleas Who perform with the greatest of ease They came to us from a museum And sometimes it's hard just to see them It sure is exciting to help out at the circus and meet all the acts before the big show. about making a CD of circus tunes. What do you think, Putt-Putt? That's a great idea! I listen to something like that all the time. Putt-Putt, mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. You know, I do believe you have a musical ear. Thanks, Bet. I was happy to help. Oh, I hope you come to help. I have. I'm Putt-Putt. Mr. Sweeney asked me to help out. Oh, Putt-Putt. Hello, I'm Katie Cannonball. And I'm just having the hardest old time remembering how to set my little cannon here. I fly out of it in the show, but if it's not set right, oh, there's no telling where I'd wind up. Maybe even the moon. How do you usually set it up? Usually, I have my cannon plan. You know, a little blueprint. It shows how to set my cannon, but they seem to be missing. Do you think you could help me find them? Sure, no problem. Oh, good. Meanwhile, I'll just fiddle around with this thing. I know so many people come to see the famous Katie Cannonball get shot out of the cannon, and I would hate to disappoint them. You won't have to disappoint them. I'll find those cannon plans. You'll see. It says, practice cannon. It looks like the controls have a lock on them, probably for safety reasons. One, one, one. Maybe that cannon uses those sacks of potatoes for practice. That's a big target! That's what my test dummy lands on when it gets shot out of the cannon. If my cannon's set properly, that is. Maybe that cannon uses those sacks of potatoes for practice. Clowns, trapeze, artists, lions, tigers, and bears, oh my! Yes, the most astounding circus show on the planet opens tonight in Apple Valley. Don't miss out on the fun! Phew! This suit is getting tight! Hey, that's Francine, the famous hippo high diver! Hi, I'm Putt-Putt! What are you doing way up there? Practicing my dives! Or at least my form! The pool is dry as a desert, so I can't jump! 
Why don't you put some water in it? I suspect it wouldn't do a lick of good. There's a hole the size of Apple Valley in there. It's a hole in the shape of a triangle. Maybe I can fix it for you. If you do that, Putt-Putt, you'll be my hero. I'm raring to go here. I need to fix the pool first. Sprung a leak is beyond me. Much to happen in the move is all I can figure. I need to patch the pool before I fill it up. Otherwise, all the water will leak out, and I don't want to waste it. I don't know which circus sack will be my favorite. Sometimes I think they'll all be. I have to remember to find Reginald's tunic. It has to be somewhere around the circus. I just know it. is deep. I wonder how I can get to the other side. I wonder how I can get to the other side. Wait a minute. Maybe I have something that will help. I have to think of a way to cross that pit. I think this trampoline will do the trick. Here goes nothing. I'm so excited to see a real circus. It will That's my gas gauge. Tyros! A complete breakfast now with added vitamin G for that great gasoline get up and go. I do. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. I'm Ivan, the semi-strong van. Although right now, I'm not very strong at all. Why not? What's the matter? I can't find Pectoral's secret power shake recipe. Pectoral the strong van? Pectoral, the original strong van. When he retired, he gave me his secret recipe. And now, it's missing. Without Pectoral's power shake, I am just a 98-pound weakling. I've been helping Mr. Sweeney take care of a few problems around the circus, and guess what? I already found the recipe! Pectoral's secret recipe? You found it? Yep, and I'll even see if I can make you a power shake since I have it. Ooh, that's an offer I can't refuse. Well, did you bring me a power shake? No, but I have the recipe. Pectoral secret recipe? You found it? Yep, and I'll even see if I can whip up the power shake for you while I'm at it. Oh, thank you. It looks like that weight is sitting on the cannon plants for Katie Cannonball's cannon. Ivan, would it be possible for you to try to move that weight? <sighs> Sorry. After I drink down the power shake, it won't be a problem. But now... No way. Okay then, one power shake coming up. As soon as I make the shake, that is. Look, Ivan, it's 
the recipe for the power shake. Oh, that's it. I can almost taste it already. Now all I have to do is go whip one up for you. I know patience is a virtue, but I can't wait to see what you brought to help me balance. Don't worry, I'll show you, Eunice. And I bet it'll do the trick. Okay, ready when you are. Ooh, I think we got it! Great! Now if you want, you can drive across the high wire. That's what the second wire's for. It's for you four-wheelers. Me, I only need one. Gee, thanks. Here's the umbrella, Eunice. Well, let's see if that works. Here, you hold this little fella. That's what the problem was. Now that I think about it, that other umbrella looks awfully tiny. This is the umbrella I use in my act. I see that now. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you want me to do with this other umbrella? Keep it. I have no need for it. I can tell you that. Thanks. Well, as I always say, if at first you don't succeed, try a new umbrella. I can't believe I didn't notice that umbrella I was using was so teeny tiny. I guess I have a one-track, one-wheel mind. And sometimes, I just forget to see the details. Eunice sure is good at balancing. I'm glad that big umbrella worked. Eunice, do you mind if I drive across the wire? Just come on through when you're ready. I sure am high up. Wowie zowie. This translation book will be perfect for talking to Honko the Clown. Huh. I wonder what he's trying to say. Let me see. Your suspenders ate scrambled eggs. I didn't think that sounded right. You missed taking a bath in bear hair. I didn't think that sounded right either. Wait a minute. I bet this is it. You're missing your nose. Well, if that's it, then I'll just have to find something for you that will work. Poor Honko. He really needs his clown nose. Honko really wants his nose. I guess he just can't perform without it. I hope I can find something that works. Yes? Have you worked for the circus for a long time? Ever since I left the police force to guard Honko the Clown on his world tour. Wow! What was that like? The best time of my life. Honko is a great clown. The Porkowski sure put on a great show. All their practicing will pay off when the show starts. It takes a lot of courage to go way up on the flying trapeze, but it sure looks fun! 
I should let them practice. They already lost a lot of time because they didn't have their safety net. Greetings once again, Pot Pot. My costume, do you happen to have it? I don't have it yet, but don't worry, I'll get it. I just have to help Francine the Hippo first. Good, you do that. Yeah, Reggie here, he's having a hard time without his costume. <laughs> Great! Buzz should be able to cut the pool patch for Francine now. Triangle. Hmm, I think the hole in the pool is in the shape of a triangle. Wow! Here you go, Sebastian. One juggling club. Splendiferous! It looks just like old Sebastian the Juggling Seal's Juggling Club! Woohoo! That is great! Here, have a ball! Gee, thanks! No, gee, thanks to you! Woohoo! You did me a great favor! I'm a phantasmic juggling genius once again! <laughs> Thanks for the juggling club! It is tremendiferic! Hey. Where did you learn to dance like that? An old bear named Petrovsky, he taught me before he left Moscow with circus to dance with bear soy ballet. That's a cockatoo. It's a beautiful bird. Hey, have you come with good news? I sure did! I found Philippe and something that might be perfect for his new tent! Oh, let me see the tent! Okay, coming right up! Here, Lester! Will this work for the flea tent? Will it ever! Put it in place and we are in business! Oh, now that is a work of art. Philippe is gonna love it. I love it! It's even better than my first paper umbrella tent. It's magnifique! You, Pat Pat, are a star of a car. Ha <laughs> I can perform now! If you'll excuse me, I need to get ready. Sure, see you later! Philippe is coming! I am ready for my makeup! This is great! I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Honko the Clown, Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act, and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night! <laughs> Ph 
the leap sure is great. Feast my eyes! It's the one, the only, the miraculous car of courage! Have you helped any of my acts to see the light? Yes, I have! Now all I have to do is help the clown, the cannonball act, and the lion. Then the show can go on! Wonderful, wonderful! Here you go, Honko. It's a little red ball. Will this do the trick? You're welcome, Honko. I was happy to help. See you in the big top. Wowie zowie. I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act and Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. <laughs> That looks like the perfect place to make Ivan's Power Shake recipe. This is the place to make the Power Shake, all right. Hmm. Now, what is it supposed to have in it again? Pectoral the Strong Van's secret recipe. Spinach, carrots, and apples. Spinach. Spinach. Carrots. All full. Wow, this is a powerful drink. I think I'll save the rest for later. Hi, Mama Mubasa. It's me again. Hello again, Putt Putt. It's always good to see you, honey. Without my plans, I can't get shot out of my cannon. And if I don't get shot out of my cannon, well... There's no cannon show at the circus? Exactly! Truer words were never spoken. So, Putt-Putt, did you find a patch for the pool? I sure did, Francine! Oh, good! Why don't you give it a try? Okay, I will! That's it! Hey! You patched the pool! I sure did! Fantastic! See, why don't you fill her up with water? Then I can practice my dive! You got it! Okay! 
pool looks full to me. Ooh, I can't wait to show off some of my fancy dives. And I can't wait to see them. Ready for a little grace in action. Look at me! Excuse me, Francine. Is this yours? Well, glory be! I believe it is! No wonder this other suit is so tight. Excellent! You are a lifesaver. Here, I won't be needing this. Thanks! Reginald the Lion will sure be happy to get this back. However, did you manage to make it backstage past security? Mr. Sweeney signed my pass. I'm helping him take care of some of the problems around here. No doubt about it, Putt-Putt. You are the right car for the job. I don't want to waste any water. Taken up diving? I don't know, Francine. I might rust. Hmm. Good point. I whipped up Pectoro's secret power shake. Would you like it? You whipped up a power shake for me? Ivan the semi-strong van? Oh, I've been needing one of those all day. Thanks. Come to Papa. Now I feel strong. Wowie zowie. That power shake is really powerful. Okay. Watch this! That is great! Lifting a ton is easy with Pectoro's secret power shake recipe. Especially for a semi-strong van like me. Now I could do this all day, all night. Behold! Ivan, the semi-strong van! You sure are strong, Ivan! Yes, but not as strong as Pectoro. Once, he lifted a three-story parking garage full of cars. Wow! Turbocharged action! How long does your power shake last, Ivan? All day, all night. I'll be all warmed up and ready to go for opening night in the big top. Thanks again, Putt-Putt. Putt-Putt. Have you ever seen the circus before? It's a wonderful sight to behold. Great, I got him! The plans for Katie Cannonball's Cannon Act. She'll sure be happy to see these. Piston pack power. Do you ever get tired of lifting, Ivan? Only after my power shake wears off. You sure are good at that, Eunice. Thanks for saying so, Putt-Putt. A unicycle like me is born to balance. Excuse me, I'm coming through. Ooh. Hot ziggity, this is fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The Song of the Elephants. The elephants, though large in size, are very fond of exercise. Their trunks, we know, are very strong. Their memories can be quite long. Pud Pud, hello. Hi, Katie Cannonball. I have your cannon plans. Oh, I can't believe it. That's terrific. Finally, I can get this cannon adjusted safely and properly. Here they are. The plans for your cannon, Katie Cannonball. I hardly know how to thank you, Putt Putt. Uh, uh, just say thank you. Oh, thank you. Can you help me set the cannon up? Normally, I have Ivan help me out, but he's busy getting ready for tonight. I'd be happy to help you with that. Really? Oh, I am tickled. Thank you. The controls are right over there. It looks like the lock combination is four, six, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Purple. Here goes nothing. I mean, a sack of potatoes. Okay, Putt Putt, let's see how it goes. Ta-da! Perfection, Putt-Putt. Bravo! We did it! No, you did it, Putt-Putt. I don't know what I would have done without you. Well, I'd better head for the big top. I don't want to be late. I need to have plenty of time to practice my cannon act. I've got a show to put on. I'll be looking for you, Putt-Putt. See you, Katie Cannonball. Gee, I just got a kiss from a real circus star. Hey, I need to help Mr. Sweeney with Reginald the Lion's Wild Cat Act. Then the Big Top Circus will be ready for opening night. Here's your costume, Reginald. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, Reginald Cornelius Andronicles the Third can go on the stage again. We've no time to waste. We have a rehearsal to attend. Thank you, Putt Putt. Yeah, you're a real pal. See you at the show. You got it. Wow! Now all the main acts are ready. Hot ziggity. <laughs> Mr. BJ Sweeney's Big Top Circus is all set to open. Welcome, one and all, to the opening night of the Big Top Circus. We have a really big show tonight, and we couldn't have done it without the help of a very special guest, Putt-Putt. Gee, thanks. As a special thank you for all he's done for this circus, we're going to let Putt-Putt perform under the Big Top. Pick your pleasure, Putt-Putt. When you're done, just come up and push this button to start the rest of the show. Wow, which one should I do? Which act should I try next? You can star in your very own circus act just by choosing one of the signs. Wow, which one should I do? We couldn't have done it without you, Putt-Putt. Gee, thanks.
Do you really want to restart the game? <laughs> 